Yo, what is up? In this video, you're going to learn three easily actionable steps you can complete right now to build conversational confidence. Just know it's not one simple technique. No, this isn't going to cure you. No, nothing is going to cure you. Understand there's not one thing that you can do to be good forever. But understand that building this conversational confidence, if you stutter to be able to walk into any interaction, feel like you have value to give, feel like people want to speak to you, and able to flow effortlessly is a, is a momentum game. It's all about building momentum. And these three steps I'm going to give you are the best ways to start to build momentum today. You can do it right now and implement it into your next interaction so you start building this momentum so it becomes more effortless and more effortless and more effortless. Before I dive into these three steps, I just want to let you know who I am. If this is the first time you're seeing me, my name's Chase Gillis and I help people overcome stuttering the authentic way without speech techniques without fluency devices without short-term techniques and fixes I help people by addressing the real root issues of why we are stuttering in the first place why we're caring so much about what other people think of us fixing the real root issues at play here so that we don't need to speak a certain way so we don't have to have a breathing pattern so that we can just be effortless like we are when we're by ourselves. Bring that version of us into real interactions. Okay, so that's what I do. If you're interested in learning more or hopping on a free one-on-one -on -one call with me, click the closest link down below in the description. Fill out some information and uh, I'll be calling you soon. But without further ado, let's hop into this video. Getting this conversational confidence is not about doing one task and then you're good forever it's about building momentum over and over just by simple steps like the three i'm going to share with you over and over and over and over again till we get to a spot where we feel like i'm confident and like again to get to that spot is not one task it's a series of tasks that you start and you start to build momentum so here are three here are three tasks you can do right now to build this conversational confidence today all right now the first task that's super simple that you can complete right now is to make a habit of choosing intentions what the intentions are is how you want to show up or what you want to do what the goal of the interaction is now there's a fine line here and there's a way this can hurt you. This can hurt you if you choose intentions that are out of your control, such as I'm gonna go into this interaction and I'm not gonna stutter. That intention is only gonna butt you in your ass and it's only solidifying the mindset that stuttering is bad. And the more you perceive stuttering as bad, stuttering as something that should not happen, the more you're going to want to resist it, and the more it's going to persist, the more it's going to be a part of your, your, your life. The end, all, the end all goal is to get to a spot mentally where we don't view stuttering as bad, where we view it as just is. It simply is. And when we can get to that spot, we no longer need to have all these constant thoughts about trying not to stutter and trying to be perfect because it just is. It doesn't take up our brain. And the first thing to like that starts to build that momentum into that mindset is to choose an intention that is in your control. What's in your control? Do you want to listen and try to find one thing that you can take home with you? Do you want to just really try to understand what the other person is feeling? Is your in intention to, to analyze their emotions and get to a spot where you can say, oh, I understand where this person is coming from. Is your intention to add value into the interaction? What is your intention and what is 
an intention that is in your control that you'll be happy with if you completed, if you walked out of this interaction having done this one thing. Um, there's many, many different ones you could choose that are in your control. Talk a lot slower. Talk louder, maybe. I used to have a problem being so quiet and monotone. So my intention sometimes would be to speak much, much louder. And if that's all I did, if all I did, I went into the interaction and I said, I'm going to speak as if the person is double the distance away from me than what they actually are if i continue and hold that speaking style throughout the whole interaction then i'll say a fucking one no matter if i stuttered no matter if i fumbled no matter what happened that was out of my control in that moment if i worked on my intention and i left the interaction having completed it i would feel good about myself that builds momentum right it's all about building momentum so we must leave, the in, must leave the interaction with the mindset of, I won. So choosing an intention that's in your control so you can leave the interaction saying you won, so you start to build momentum. And so it adds to that confidence boost in conversations, all right? Choose an intention is the first very simple, simple task you can do, and it's fucking massive. All right, now the second super simple task to complete is to become a good listener and this may catch you by surprise you may say chase i am a good listener what the fuck do you think in every interaction i'm the quiet person of course i have to listen the more i listen the more i become good at listening from my experience and from me coaching dozens and dozens and dozens of people who stutter i have found the same thing over and over again and it's that people who stutter are in their head thinking about what they want to say instead of being present in the interaction. We're thinking about what words we can say without stuttering on. We're thinking about how this interaction and how what we're speaking about isn't in our wheelhouse. So we're thinking about how we can constantly add shit. If we were to speak, how we can add words and add sentences so it brings us back to what we're comfortable comfortable speaking with. We're always trying to find ways so that we feel the most safe. And the thing is, right now, if we have a negative relationship with our stutter and we don't wanna stutter, the areas where we feel safe to conversate is so, so, so small. So instead of being present and listening to what the other person's saying, we're always trying to forge it in our favor. The thing is, if we're able to start to become a good listener, we are addressing a pain point that is inside of us that we think the stutter is holding us back from, a, um, grasp, from grasping. What we feel a lot of the time is because we have a stutter, we cannot add value to the interaction. We feel like we are valueless, like we are helpless, like no one will want to speak to us. The best way to gain that momentum, to be confident, the best way to gain the momentum, to understand people want to talk to us is not by showing off our speech, but by a basic fundamental human need. And it's the need to be understood. If you can allow someone to feel understood, if you can allow someone to feel like he gets me or she gets me, they will fucking love you regardless if you stuttered in your responses, regardless of how anything came out. If you're listening to understand, you're so out of your head, so you're not listening to respond and how you can forge this shit. No, you're listening to actually just understand how they're feeling. That will grant you so much value in the interaction, which again will allow you to leave the interaction feeling like you won because you just listened. And also that will change your intention to try to be fluent, to try to just listen. Two birds, one stone, super, super awesome for you. And the last easy, easily actionable, simple task to complete right now 
is to put yourself in the right state prior to speaking. Mentally, take time, five minutes, if you have an interaction coming up, even if the interaction is two minutes long, I'll tell you why this is beneficial. If you're in a shit state, mentally, meaning you have a lot of self-doubt, meaning you have a lot of negative emotions going on inside of you, negative thinking, your interaction and how you think the interaction went is going to be filmed through a lens that is negative. So no matter if your intentions are on point, no matter if you're listening, if you're in a negative state, you're going to walk away from the interaction thinking, fuck, I failed it. Simply because the thoughts that are going in your brain right now are not serving you. You must take control of your emotions. You must take control of your state. Your mind and body are connected. If you're feeling good inside, you're going to have good thoughts. So if you take five minutes before, like do some breath work, you do some bioenergetics. There's many, many different things that I teach my clients what to do. It can take five minutes. It can also take 10 seconds. A quick exercise to radically change your state so you're perceiving the interaction differently. Even if you stuttered, you can still walk away from the interaction feeling like you fucking won simply because your thoughts are different. And the more you can get in the habit of walking away from interactions, even if you stuttered and feeling like you won, will build the congruence that stuttering is not that bad. And when we can view stuttering as not that bad, we take away the, the need to resist it. And when it, the need to resist it is no longer there, it no longer persists the same way, it no longer takes up our mental capacities, and we can actually, actually be present and authentic in the interactions now. Okay, now that you know these three steps, I quickly, quickly just want to tell you a reminder that you, this is not something you do one time and you're good. This shit takes practice and it takes momentum. Confidence is a momentum game. And again, this is just one sliver of the pie. This is just one piece of the pie. If you're really trying to overcome your stutter, I would suggest you right now to stop listening to YouTube videos. You can only achieve so much by listening to YouTube videos over and over again when you don't have a consistent action plan that you work on every single day, all right? Now, if you're serious about overcoming your stutter, if you're serious about taking this to the next level and you're saying enough is enough, I'm sick of being inauthentic, I'm sick of speaking and showing up in this world in a way that isn't true. It isn't true to who I am. Then right now I'm having free one-on-one -on -one calls with people, one-on-one -on -one, where I talk to you directly. I see what your situation looks like. I see where the sticking points are and where you would need to address right now what the first things are so you can start building the momentum to actually overcome your stuttering for good. So I'll take a look at your deep, deep, deep issues. And I'll take a look at what would have to be done in order to start this process. If you would like to take advantage of this one-on-one -on -one call with me, then look at the closest link down below in the description. It says free consultation call. Book it, put your name, put your number, and some information about yourself. And I'll be calling you soon to give you some free advice. That's three very, very easy ways to build conversational confidence right now. I hope that was massive for you and I love you. All right. Peace.